Gamera 2 is proving itself. What seemed impossible when project manager William Starrick began his Ph.D. studies at the University of Maryland three years ago is now within reach. It's flown for 60 seconds and on a different flight has gone to an altitude of 9 feet. Those are two of the three goals required to win the Sikorsky Prize. We're hoping now to combine both of those into a single flight, get that little bit of extra altitude we need, and keep the helicopter controlled and stable. Fifty volunteers make up the team developing the flyer. Their machine is built from composite microcarbon materials, balsa, foam, and other lightweight materials. Unlike a normal helicopter, the rotor blades are positioned under the craft and operate close to the ground. By keeping our blades low, they actually take less power to run. As we climb, it gets harder and harder for the pilot. The perfect test pilot is thin and strong, like graduate student Colin Gore. I've got a lot of, you know, a lot of muscle compared to the rest of my body. When the pilot cranks with his hands and feet, he begins to reel in a string that runs through the craft and is attached to the rotors. As they begin to spin, the flyer takes off. We're looking for controlled flight. Part of the criteria for the Sikorsky Prize are that we don't drift. 30 seconds. On flight test days, Ph.D. student Elizabeth Weiner helps direct the pilot and support team. And lift. Disappointed with Gamera 2's performance just a few weeks ago, on this day she's joined William Stark at a campus warehouse to inspect the damage. I found one that popped. Despite recent setbacks, Stark and Weiner agree that the project has been deeply satisfying. We've gotten the opportunity to go through an actual design and flight test experience, and that's the sort of thing you never get to do. And it's a lot of fun going out there and building sun and flying it and trying to do the impossible. For me, it's knowing that we did it and we did it first. And they're doing it after being challenged to enter the competition four years ago by aerospace professor Inderjeet Chopra. He's proud of what they've accomplished and what they're about to do. It will be an enormous joy when we complete it. Pilot Colin Gore is ready. I feel like I've got like a high profile but probably easiest job out of all of them. Just because I've just got to dump some power into it and give them, give them the performance that they deserve. The Gamera 2 team plans to make another attempt at the Sikorsky Prize for a human-powered helicopter within the next two months. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, in College Park, Maryland.